Yo everyone, what's up? It's me again. So I may be done with the lead, but I'm not done making random videos whenever I feel like it. So this is actually a video on a topic that a lot of people have asked me about, and it's how to target farm uniques in SSF. And this means, you know, target farming unique items specifically, like not one in particular, but just like in general, how do you get the most unique items, you know, per time spent playing the game in SSF? And I'm going to share with you guys what I think is, you know, one of the best, if not the best, low investment, low barrier to entry, high return way to farm uniques and SSF. So before I make this video, I want to preface this by saying that the best method will always be magic find. Um, I'm going to show you guys an Atlas strat, but the best way to execute this strat is to play a magic find character. The more quant and rarity you have on your character, the more uniques will drop, period. However, you can still do this strat without a magic find character, which I'm going to show you uh, in this video. Um, so this is basically the strat. And in this video, I'm going to show you like two maps, one with this strat on a non magic find character and one map with a magic find character using this strat. So to go over the strat, the main idea is to use Meticulous Appraiser, which turns your quant into rarity. And then you make as many, you know, rare items drop as possible using Possessed Rogue Exiles. So if you take Exiled Will, Rogue Exiles will always be possessed. And when a monster is possessed, they drop a lot more items. In addition, you can take Keystones like, or Notables like Unrelenting Torment, which gives you 30% more quant of items dropped by possessed monsters. And then you can take all the map modifier effect to further juice the quant on your maps. And then you take these quant and rarity nodes for more quant and rarity. And then you can uh, take some random things as well, like Seance, which you know possesses more monsters in your maps, giving you even more quant. And then you can um, you know, finish everything off by taking these map wheels that give you increased uh, modifier effect in addition to some random bonuses like, you know, more monster packs as well. And that's basically the strat. I also have packed with energy here because I think this is just like mandatory for probably every build and every strat. It just gives you a lot more clear and survivability power. So I would actually recommend that just like baked into every strat. And that's basically the idea. For those of you who don't know how Meticulous Appraiser works and why it's good, so this keystone converts quant into rarity. And when you have a lot of rarity, your rare items that drop have a higher chance to become uniques, basically, because the more rarity, the more uniques you're going to find. And that's the main idea, right? So that's basically how the strategy works. You put a bunch of possessed rogue exiles in your maps, and then you kill them. They drop a lot of rare items, and then Meticulous Appraiser makes them drop unique items. That's basically the strat. And as you can see here, this strat only is using 92 points, so you have a lot of more points to spend. So you can basically take whatever you want. Um, in my tree that I tested out for farming this, I ended up taking strong boxes for two reasons. Uh, strong boxes, first of all, they can roll a mod that makes them guarded by rogue exiles, which puts more rogue exiles on the map. And then they can also drop you scarabs, which is really nice for scarabs to stay in. And you can also, you know, gamba on div cards, which is fun. And then I have Exarch altars here because I think this is just good for SSF. You get unmakings, you get chaos, and you can even get more quant. So you know, it's definitely nice. And the rest of my tree is just whatever that I wanted to put on there. So you have some freedom to like put whatever you want. But yeah, that's the main idea. So uh, with regard to the scarabs, I believe the optimal scarabs is as follows. You have this setup. So I'm, I like to run one reliquary, one reliquary of overlords, and then two anarchy scarabs. Um, the marginal utility of putting in one reliquary scarab is huge. 100% um, increased unique items found is basically double unique items found. Um, so you definitely want one of those. And then you can also use Reliquary Scarab of Overlords, which gives you 
which causes uniques to drop an additional unique item and rogue exiles are unique. So that gives you a lot more as well. And then you also have these two anarchy scarabs just to put more rogue exiles onto the map. There are some honorable mentions as well. Like you can also use anarchy scarab of partnership, you know, if you have it to get more rogue exiles. Um, you could also try using this anarchy scarab of gigantification, but I have no idea what a rogue giant is. So maybe good, maybe not good. I don't really know. There's like no information online on what this even is. Uh, you can also run some Torment Scarabs as well. Th these will just put more spirits onto your maps. And, you know, again, when, when something is touched or possessed by a spirit, they get more quant. And in addition, you know, uh, this Keystone Unrelenting Torment gives them further 30 more quant. So, yeah, that's basically this rat. Um, oh, I forgot to mention, I also take uh, singular carapaces here just to farm more reliquary scarabs. Um, you can also take outcasted carapaces to farm more anarchy scarabs, but I think this is less priority because you can put anarchy on your map device for 2C, but you can't put the effect of the reliquary scarab. So, you know, I, I chose to farm the reliquary scarab. And that's basically the idea. And then also, you know, Unrelenting Torment, like every one in 10 maps, you'll have the map boss be surrounded by tormented spirits as well, which will give it like a giga unique explosion, which is like really fun. So yeah, that's basically the strat. And let me just show you guys what it looks like to run this strat. So this first map, uh, so first of all, we're going to put the scarabs in, you know, make sure to split this one up, put anarchy on the map craft, you know, searing exarch altars and then use the tree. And this one, I'm going to show you guys with a normal character. This is just a normal, non-magic find character, no quant or anything. And then after this map, I'll show you guys like a map with a fully decked out magic find character. So, okay, let's do the non-magic find one first. Okay, whatever, we'll just do this. Okay, let's go. So, yeah. So, the biggest source of the uniques that drop are going to be rogue exiles so oh that was a rare okay um okay here's a rogue exile there's three uniques um oh i'm dying for some reason probably because of arch nemesis v3 uh yeah basically you just look for rogue exiles so okay, i think i killed another one as well and got more uniques there but it's kind of hard to tell what's going on sometimes but yeah. Oh, okay, here's one. Okay, I got five there. Okay, none of them were good, but whatever. And this strat is actually, you know, pretty sustainable in SSF as well. Like, as, as soon as you get a Reliquary Scarab, you can just use it. Anarchy only costs 2C on the map device, so it's like totally good to use. And, you know, as you can see here, every time you kill a Rogue Exile, um, I'll demonstrate here, Every time you kill a rogue exile, they drop like their gear as all these rare items. And then Meticulous Appraiser and like the Reliquary Scarab is like making them drop uniques, as you can see here. So yeah. And then if you if you want, you can also do other random stuff as well. Like basically every league mechanic has some way of adding more rares to the map, right? You know, so whatever league mechanic you enjoy, ooh, nice. Um, whatever league mechanic you enjoy doing, you can just like put it on as well on the tree for the strat. And you know, just the more rares, the better. But you know, what my tree that I'll link in the description, I think is like the bare bones tree for this strat. Um, yeah. You do need a somewhat good character to do this trap though. Oh, it's um, some of the rogue exiles and maps can be pretty powerful. So I would definitely recommend like having a good character to do this trap. You don't need like a super broken character. You're not like mega juicing. Like you're not putting like 10 spirits in one rogue exile with this trap, but I, I would still say like, you know, the better, the better character you have, the more uniques you're gonna drop. Well, I mean, the, not not necessarily, but like the better character you have, the faster you can like clear these maps, which translates to more uniques that you're gonna drop, you know, over time. 
and like per XP loss. Okay, we got a boss. Great. Okay, so we got like nothing good in this map, but you can kind of see like how many random like unique explosions you get, right? And this is with a non-magic find character as well. So like any character can do this. You don't need a magic find character to drop this many uniques. And if you're farming for like a pretty common unique like Katava's Thirst, you're going to drop it eventually. So yeah, this is how I would recommend like far target farming uniques on a non-magic find character. Okay, now I'm going to show you guys the same strat, you know, the same scarabs and everything, the same strat, but with a fully decked magic find character. So forgive me while I um, change like every single item that I have. <laughs> All right, this may take a while. Okay, <laughs> all right, so there we go. So this character is now a fully decked out magic find character. Um, so this character is obviously gonna be a lot weaker than the last one because all of my gear basically does nothing at all. But here we go, magic find character. So this character as it is right now has 50 quant and 116 rarity. And that's not including the plus 15, plus 15 from the Atlas tree. So again, this 50 quant with Meticulous Appraiser is going to be applied instead to rarity of items at 300% of the value. So that 50 quant is going to translate to 150 increased rarity. So let me just show you guys like what this strat would look like on a magic find setup. So we'll do the same strat. Exarch Altar, Anarchy, you know, same Scarabs in. Uh, let's go. If you want to target farm uniques, Magic Find is definitely always going to be better. But again, like, you don't need a Magic Find character to do this. But as you can see, there's going to be like a lot more uniques dropping, but also my character is a lot weaker. And you do have to play a Magic Find character to do this. So, you know, some people might not like that, which is fine. I don't like magic finding, but as you can see, you get a lot more uniques. Like, we just started the map and we got, like, all this already, which is cool. But yeah, my character is, like, a lot weaker. Um. Hey, look, a heavy belt. I wonder where that's going to be. What is that shit? All right, it's not a mage blood, but I don't know what that is. Yeah, as you can see, you get substantially more uniques with Magic Find. Okay, I think there's like something bad on this map. I'm not really sure what it is though. Oh, monsters cannot be leeched from. All right, that basically breaks my character because I rely on leech. What is this belt that I got here? Mother's Embrace, oh, it's dog shit. But as you can see, you're getting like so many uniques, right? So, yeah. Well, I'll just I'll finish this map. It's gonna be a little scuffed because I don't have leech, and I can't recover my life if I lose it. And I'm corrupted soul, so that's like pretty scuffed. So if I die, it's, if I die, it's because I put a mod on my map that I can't run, not because the character is weak. So as you can see, a lot of unique items dropping, and this is just with like 50 quant and like 100 rarity on my magic find character. 
Heavy belt? Pog? Not Pog. Heavy belt? Heavy belt Pog? Dayati and Dawn. That's cool, I guess. And as you can see, like this unique's dropping left and right. Unfortunately, none of them are very good though. I should probably take gold amulet off my loot filter. Other belt? Not pog. Alright, well, looks like that's about it. Oh, possessed map boss, 10% chance to get this. I'm very happy I could get this in the video. I will probably die here. Okay, well, it looks like this character is going to be pretty hard to kill on a magic find character. I guess that's like one thing that could happen like when this happens, it's like, you know, pretty nasty. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna swap a character for this boss. Hope you guys don't mind this. My, my normal character can definitely handle that, but magic find character with cannot leech. Oh, I can't even do it on bone shatter because of cannot leech. Um, okay. Well, I hope I can kill this map boss for content. But all my characters are leech based. Maybe Righteous Fire can kill it. Oh, there's one more here. Come back here. Get over here. Okay. This is Traitor RF Chieftain. A mapping build. Alright. <laughs> Right, this boss is pretty unhinged. Oh, oh, and there we go. So yeah, as you can see, like, you know, when 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 you get like a when you get that ten percent, and your map boss becomes possessed, and you're able to kill it, you can get like a huge amount of uniques. Like this is ridiculous. Oh, I got a fractal thoughts. I got a brass dome. Uh, what's the roll? Two percent. What a bunch of bullshit. And as you can see, that's basically how you farm uniques in SSF. That's basically the idea. Um, so yeah, the long story short, like this strat is 100% viable without a magic find character. You just, you know, use the reliquary and anarchy scarabs as you can get them to see anarchy on the map device. And eventually you're going to get the, you know, the unique you want, assuming that it's like a reasonable tier unique, you know. Like, there's no guarantee that you can get a mage blood with this strat, but you're going to get a lot of, like, random uniques during this strat. So, yeah. You know, there you go. If you're looking for, like, a Tava's Thirst or something, this is, like, the perfect strat to farm an item like that. And, yeah, that's about it. Um, I'll put the Atlas Tree, this thing, in the description of the video. Um, and, uh, yeah, let me know if you have any comments or concerns or anything. Uh, if you know a better strat or like ways that I could improve this strat to get like even more unique items, feel free to let me know. But I think this is like a pretty good baseline for, you know, a strat. And yep, that's it. Um, uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Yep. <laughs>